Hello, my name is Darren Almond. I'm a third year PhD student at Regent University, and it's my pleasure to present at the Biblical Perspectives Regent University Roundtable, the JBPL Meta-Analysis, John and Leadership. The Journal of Biblical Perspectives, or JBPL, was initiated in 2006 and reconstituted in 2017 and contains nine volumes uh, through 2021 when this meta-analysis was conducted. The, the journal is dedicated to exploring research topics via exegetical and thematic analysis of scripture. The research question from this collection of writings uh, was what insights to leadership theory and leadership characteristics can be learned from the writings of John as analyzed within the JBPL? There was the method to do this analysis was three iterative data filters, um, starting with the complete nine volumes of 136 articles. A search term of John was applied to each one of those articles, and then non apostle references such as the name Johnson were removed. That reduced the population to 53 articles. From there, uh, a filter was applied that searched for um, references to John's scripture, not to John the Apostle himself, and that reduced the number of articles from 53 to 45 and identified 111 scriptural references. From those scriptural references, there was then the connection made to the leadership theory within an article. And and so only 20 of those articles actually made the connection between scriptural references and leadership theory down to, and of those there were 12 leadership theories identified. So the listing of all scriptural references from John, the Gospel of John, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John and Revelation were included within this analysis. And those scriptural references were reviewed in, with respect to two primary attributes, whether they identified a leadership characteristic or whether they were associated with a leadership theory. The results of the analysis are shown here. These are the 20 articles that uh, were identified with various leadership theories. So you could see the article uh, author and then um, the associated leadership theory and the references therein. Uh, you can see that only one of the volumes, volume 4.1 in 2012, did not have any references to um, uh, to John as a with a, with a leadership theory. Also of note is that uh, more than approximately half of of these articles submitted uh, un undertook a a formal socio rhetorical analysis. In looking at the scriptural reference to leadership theory, the summary um, is shown here, and we'll go over some of the, the top results in a later upcoming slide. Uh, but as you look at this, there are the 12 leadership theories on the left hand side. Um, and then across the top, you can see the location where the, the reference occurred. So in the Gospel of John, chapter 5 through chapter 21, and then within the books of 1 John, 2 John, and Revelation, there was no references associated with 3 John. Um, then the, are, the theories are listed in order of frequency of occurrence. Um, and so you can see emotional intelligence and transformational pastoral leadership are referenced um, in each of those chapters. Uh, and so you could see uh, they were um, on the column on the right hand side, six times locations each. And then the number of articles they were referenced in are listed on the far right hand column. So of note here, John 21 was associated with nine different leadership theories. Emotional intelligence, transformational leadership, and credibility were most associated with John's writings. Turning to the leadership characteristics, uh, the 29 leadership characteristics are shown here on the left hand side. Uh, the first column, ref the reference total includes all 111 scriptural references of, of, of the 45 articles. Um, and then 
Uh, the second column indicates the 20 articles where there was an association with the leadership theory um, re resulting in 74 uh, total references. As similar to the previous analysis, you can see the locations um, where where those references occurred. And so uh, the top the top um, attribute being an added attributes of being a servant, uh, love, self awareness humility, and so on. And we'll cover those briefly. So observations from the leadership theory, every volume from the GBPL except volume 4.1 in 2012 contained a direct reference uh, to a scripture in John associated to a leadership theory. All the leadership theories except two were established in academia. One of them, uh, martyrological leadership, was actually a theory being introduced in 2007 by Newald. And then the concept of shepherd leadership um, while there had there is uh, some academic activity, there is not a fully established theory uh, associated with shepherd leadership. There are some works in popular uh, press, um, but in the articles within JBPL, there was no formal leadership reference uh, noted, but the concept of shepherd leadership was utilized in those articles. Um, two of the areas that were identified as academic theory, being credibility and emotional intelligence, um, as mentioned, were presented as academic theory, but really are only found in popular press. Twelve um, leadership theories and constructs are associated with 12 different chapters and, and books of John. So um, it, it indicates a, a wide variety of, of leadership uh, theories are being associated with the works of John. Nine and different theories are, are associated specifically with John chapter 21, which is the uh, record of Peter being restored and the feed my sheep dialogue between Jesus and Peter. On the leadership characteristics side, 29 unique leadership characteristics uh, were um, referenced um, in, in the 45 articles uh, where there were 101 references, and then 74 references of those 29 characteristics were in the 20 articles. The top characteristics of servanthood, love, self-awareness, humility, empathy, and motivation um, were identified. And then cha John chapter 21 elicits 19 references of 12 unique characteristics. So in, in reviewing this data, um, a few trends emerged. One is that John uses several methods to convey the leadership principles in his writing. Uh, John 10 indicates how he records the words of Jesus directly um, when he's talking about uh, the Good Shepherd. Uh, he illustrates how Jesus modeled leadership in John 13 and John 21. And then he provides direct insights um, in, his, in his direct letters to, to uh, followers of the church um, in 1 John and 2 John. Uh, even in his apocalyptic writings and revelation, he offered attributes of strategic foresight and sacrifice as it, as it pertains to leadership and leadership characteristics. So a wide variety of theories and leadership characteristics are associated with the writings of John. Um, yet uh, 19 independent researchers published in the JBPL coalesces around the writings of John as a source for leadership. The top academic leadership theories that were presented are transformational leadership uh, and servant leadership. Shepherd leadership was also noted frequently, but um, again, there was no formal academic theory reference but it is the place where Jesus speaks directly to a shepherd model. Um, another interesting fact about John 10 is that there were no characteristic or leadership characteristic references associated with that chapter. Turning to the top leadership characteristics, the servant attributes um, were not surprisingly prominent because of the, um, because of how many JBPL articles focus on uh, servant the servant leadership concept. 
Another aspect was, which is common in, in John's writing, but not common in leadership theory constructs, is an attribute of love. Um, when you look at the attributes of self-awareness, hum humility, empathy, and motivation, those are often found in, in secular leadership theory constructs. And then again, uh, concepts of reconciliation and redemption um, are potential Christian characteristic insights uh, that could have an opportunity along with the concept of love to be infused into secular leadership theories. So uh, conclusions of this um, of this analysis. Uh, one is that the writings of John offer a wealth of leadership data that uh, access a wide variety of leadership theory. Um, and so I think is accessible uh, for the uh, Christian scholar to use as a data source um, uh, to infuse the biblical worldview into uh, secular academic leadership and organizational leadership work. Another observation is the, the number of references to shepherd leadership seem to be underserved by existing uh, secular leadership theory development. So that may serve as an opportunity for um, formalizing uh, that theory in a similar manner to how servant leadership um, was uh, developed by uh, from from Greenleaf's initial offerings and, and furthered by Patterson. And then finally, the concepts of love and redemption are connected by John to concepts of leadership and le uh, theory and leadership characteristics but are largely absent in academia today. And so that presents an opportunity to make those connections um, in the literature. Recommendations that come from this study. One is to consider this meta-analysis process for the other major biblical authors, primarily Paul, Peter, and Luke, to um, determine if a similar um, phenomenon of a wide variety of leadership uh, connections can be made. And I believe there's also an opportunity for the JVPL to consider pursuing qualitative and quantitative analyses that seek to develop, evaluate, and confirm the leadership's theories, for example, shepherd leadership, and leadership characteristics like love presented by John um, and as identified in the other authors. So extending beyond solely an exegetical um, and thematic uh, opportunity, but using it as a means to really uh, infuse the um, that exegetical analysis into theory development. So with that, I want to thank you for your time and attention and hope that you found um, this analysis helpful. Thanks.